Hey. Good morning. You know, some cats. All of us. You come in with us? Come on. Good morning, modern steaders. It's another brisk chilly one. 29 degrees out this morning. Uh, a little bit chilly. A little chilly. A bit warmer than yesterday. What do you hear, Figaro? Is that chipmunk tormenting you? What, you waiting for some grain? You just left the house and had your breakfast. His morning dessert. Better go feed the pigs before Figaro eats it all. Good morning ladies. Ready for breakfast? There you go. They're getting so long. You need to get the tape measure out and measure them and see how much they weigh. Looking for your baby, huh? Morning girls, morning hope. Oh, you didn't work the first one, hope. There you go, Hope. Ready? Right there. Little P morning. Good morning. Good morning. They're like, we just want our food. We don't want any morning pets. We want to eat. <laughs> Goats love food. That's for sure. Believe it or not, they are picky on what they'll eat. But they love to eat what they love to eat. Alright, so this morning we need to get our jack studs made for our headers above our doors get the headers up and then we can get our upright studs going above the doorways which is three pieces we got some nails we got to put in high and low and then we can start siding if everything goes as i plan it to we'll have the genie lift here right up till when we need it and then once the roof is done it'll be getting picked up the next day and it'll be out of here so that'll be perfect if you guys are just tuning into the series, me and my wife Gina are building a post and beam garage that we bought off the internet from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link in the video description down below. The Jamaica Cottage Shops and the building that we're building. And I want to thank Jamaica Cottage Shops for sponsoring this build series. And I want to thank all of our awesome viewers like you guys for watching. It's a little chilly this morning. We better get the lift warming up. doesn't appreciate the chilly morning either. We'll let her run for a few minutes before we get her going. Yeah, it's a bit brisk this morning. Now we need to cut our jack studs for along the side of the door. I'm gonna cut four of them at 80 inches.
doesn't want it. So I'm gonna give it a one toenail. And I can take my hammer. And there we go. That sucks the board over. You nail that at an angle and you just keep wheeling on it. It'll suck the board over a little bit to get it flush. I like it. Perfect, I like it. Let's get up there, we'll get some measurements for our header length. They're both probably gonna be slightly different. This is rough sawn lumber, so the dimensions of it, it's not all the same. So let's get that figured out. Then we can come down and cut what we need. I know it looks like it's not level, but this outer piece of two by six is thinner than the back piece. And that's why it's looking that way. It's an optical illusion. Now, once we get it sided, you'll never know. I shouldn't say you'll never know it. You won't see it. It's not nothing that we won't know about. Let's get on with the next door. We need a nail gun like they have in the movies. That never runs out. Perfect, I like it. Thank you. 
we gotta go 24 on center. these installed we just got to do a couple of up a couple of cross braces to nail our siding to and we're going to be starting the siding you can't get over how much this changed the looks of everything just having doorways in here it's crazy level before we lose it there so now let's go back down and we can figure out what we need for blocking for our siding how different does that look and it's gonna look so much more different once we have the siding on and the door holes cut out the doorway door holes the doorways I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure some blocking for every one and then we will be back Grab my chalk line. I wrote every measurement on the boards and I had the measurements on my phone so I know what board goes where. Sure. From the bottom, 63. right here all right how do we know if we go right here or 63 boom we got a nice line Flight plan, no manual to be found. You and I, we're driving in the dark without headlights, trying to find our way. It's hard telling where we'll be in the coming days, but I'll be there with you. It's hard telling where we'll be. 
coming days. Putting in all that blocking really stiffens the wall up too. I'm gonna do more blocking up high, but I figure we can do that after we get the siding on. I like that. That really strengthens up that wall. Yes. Nice. Can you tap the bottom in towards the back a little bit? A little more. Right there is perfect. Go ahead and We have to go with our layout, or at least on our foot marks because the siding above matches up. So I gotta know where to put the next piece. I'm glad I thought of that. So the siding above matches. So we can't just start wherever we want on the other side of this door. We gotta keep it on our foot mark. Okay, that'll work. To walk around my heart to stop the bleeding. More to make more. So that. So then I can go nine feet. Alright. Now I know where to start back here.
there. Fill in some little one inch wide strips here for siding later. And now we can get up high. Looks good. We're getting there. We'll have our roof done in no time. You chickens are having a blast inside this garden cleaning it up, cleaning it out, aren't you? Look at that. You girls are doing a good job. It feels like a nice fall afternoon. And some nice fresh homemade donuts would be delicious. How many eggs? Ten. Ten. How many do y'all think? Leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> I'm not seeing too many. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was right. It is so dry out here. It's like August dry. We haven't got any rain in a long time. This pasture is looking pretty sad. I personally have never seen it this dry here before. Usually, especially in the fall, we have a lot of moisture. Willow, you're missing out. Okay. She must be napping. Yes, Nora's not out here either. You want some eggs? No? What do you think of all them chickens, mister? How many eggs you sitting on up there for us, huh? Well... Thank you. Let's see, we have two. Ooh, oh, yeah, four. Five. I like that. So the meatballs I made were so good and I love to have extras in the freezer. So what I did last time when we had meatballs is we had what we were eating for supper that night and then I had froze the rest. Once they were cool, I stuck them all in a freezer bag and froze them that way. I was able to grab as many meatballs as I wanted out of the bag of meatballs, just like if you had went to the store and bought a bag of frozen meatballs. So I like to have that convenient. So I have my two packages of pork here and I do not have any breadcrumbs. So I'm going to use um, oatmeal like I did with my meatloaf. That worked out really good. It's just like a binding agent, something to give it something so I can it will stick together. I'm going to start with one cup and see how that goes. I was out of Italian seasoning mix, so I just mixed a few of seasonings together. So hopefully that will taste good. I'm going to just sprinkle some in there. Just going to sprinkle some salt. And some pepper. I'm also going to add some garlic powder and onion powder. If I would have thought of that before, I would have did that so that I didn't have to mix again. But at least everything should be incorporated well. Oops.
just gonna pop these meatballs in the oven. I have it preheated at 350 and I'm gonna check them about 20 minutes, see if they're up to temperature. It might be 20 to 30 minutes from the cooked fully. Still um, not homemade sauce. We're waiting for a rainy day to do our, our big tomato sauce har harvest. So that will be when we get some rain, we'll be doing that. That's our plan anyway. And maybe I'll go pick some green beans. Later last night, I did a bunch of beans, blanched them, and then put them in the dehydrator. Two of these colanders fall. And this is what ends up today. So, it's kind of like, what the heck? But then it's kind of cool at the same time because it doesn't take up a lot of space. And I've never dehydrated or never dehydrated and I've never used the dehydrated vegetables either so I'm hoping that they'll be really good because I'll be disappointed because it was time consuming. Who doesn't love meatballs? This has got to be one of my favorite meals. I remember growing up as a kid, I always looked forward to when my mom made homemade meatballs. Oh, so good. It's even better when you can put a bag of them in the freezer. So whenever you need a quick meal or a lunch, they're right there. You just grab them and go. Well, you got to warm them up still, but you don't have to make them from scratch. I can't get over how good the greenhouse is doing. I'm hoping to get in there next week. We're waiting to get the new barn roof closed in and then once that's done the lift will be out of there right now we're just on a mad rush trying to get the barn all finished up with all the high stuff while the lifts here and then we can get in back into the greenhouse and finish preserving what we need to preserve for the year if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel now's a great opportunity to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications while you're there Hit the like button, that really does help the channel out quite a bit. And thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.